Hopefully, you'll see where from my relation with memory. Today, I want to talk about this concept and uh, discuss the maximum likelihood sequence detection or maximum likelihood sequence estimation procedure using the VTMV algorithm. Uh, we have discussed the optimum receiver for memory less modulation and we mentioned that there is two kind of optimum receiver when uh, each received sample is the summation of the transmitted symbol and the noise such as PAM, PSK, QAM modulation and in the other case when the received samples are the summation of the transmitted samples which for example, the NS of them uh, the transmitted symbol plus the component of the noise. As an example was the FSK modulation. And we see for the first case, the optimum receiver is a maximum likelihood uh, receiver with the nearest neighbor room. And the vector, the optimum received vector is the uh, nearest neighbor of uh, those symbols that are, are near to the received vector. And we also talk about that when the noise sample are independent, we can decide on each of those received symbols based on each of the sample of the received signal. However, for the this time, when the each symbol is a, itself is a signal with ns of samples. Well, we mentioned the match filter is the optimum receiver is working such a thing like this. But, but the week before, we discussed the spectrum of the modulated signal and we mentioned that the spectrum and the controlling the spectrum of the transmitted signal is very important for us. And what was the goal is as much as we can to reduce it. And this is your idea. What is the options that we can do for reducing the transmitted bandwidth? Any idea? The first one is the reducing the symbol rate, which is not something that we desire because we need, we want to increase the symbol rate, increase the rate of the information. We know that if we decrease the uh, symbol rate, then the, the transmitted bandwidth will be decreased too, but it is not a, a good, good option. We can also squeeze the, the frequency characteristic of the, the pulse shaper filter. We will discuss that in chapter 9 and we will see what is the open pulsating filter. But also sometimes it's not that work. And the third method that we have discussed, we said that using a filter and the transmitter will decrease the, the bandwidth of the transmitter or the spectrum of the modulated signal. We mentioned such a simple filter as a JCA is the summation of alpha 1 IK plus alpha 2 IK minus 1. And also, we come up with this spectrum, uh, our spectrum, uh, and we saw that, for example, for the black one, which is the spectrum of the uh, transmitted signal, this oh, sometimes like this the black one is the spectrum of the transmitted signal that you see uh, the blue one was the spectrum of the, the transmitted filter when we can change by uh, playing with the alpha one and alpha two which is the the taps of the filter and create, for example, the, the red one or this green one as the final uh, spectrum of the transmitted signal. The Jacob, in this case, for the red one, for red one, we can see that 
at this point, it's something like at least 50 dB lower than the, the actually the black one, and also in this peaks, you can see at least something like 10 dB reducing of the band, which is very important. Uh, therefore, we can say that, yes, we can do that, but using any kind of filters poses a memory to the modulated signal. And we have a little bit discussion about that, although this helps us tremendously on the reducing the bandwidth, and the bandwidth is money, it's very important for us, because, you know, one of the most important budget that the telecommunication companies spend is to buying a bandwidth first of all and then starting to giving the services to you. But that's good. It helps us, but what is the catch? We remember when we post a memory to the transmitted signal. The problem is that the traditional maximum likelihood receiver is not an optimal receiver. We cannot discuss, we cannot, sorry, decide on the received symbol by just the received symbol. Let's see what's happening if we use the maximum likelihood receiver for such a system. Okay. We can say that, okay, suppose that we have decided on I k, k minus 1, and we want to decide on the I k. The, the optimum, in this case, based on the maximum likelihood receiver, the optimum received symbol will be arc mean of the system model. We know that we have transmitted this one, this system. We want to see what is this M. We know what is this. We know what is the alpha 1. We know what is the alpha 2. And this just decided on SM, M is 1, 2, M, which is the symbol number. Just put all of the SM inside and see what is the, what is the, the nearest symbol to the received sample in this format. This works as long as your estimation from the IK minus 1 is fine. That's fine. Why not? But what happens if the IK minus 1 has been estimated wrongly? This part is also works as a noise or interference in your received signal. Because, for example, suppose that this is, this actually it was 1, we decided the minus 1, alpha 2 plus minus 1, it decided it makes you to go over something that it actually it was not. And we will see that in an example, uh, what is the effect of something like this. Okay, but the point is that, uh, is there any other option? Yes, the optimum receiver for modulation bit memory is the maximum likelihood sequence detection or estimation. Um, and the point is, uh, the, receive, the optimum received sample will be decided by arc mean of R minus F of SM, which actually was the, we know what is the system model, we know what is the, what was the transmitted filter taps. Then we just need to decide on uh, the sequence of the transmitted symbol. But the point is that we cannot just uh, decide them on them individually. We need an, uh, a procedure that decided on all of them together. Now, it's, uh, if this problems, such a thing, somehow makes it at least a linear programming which with the different kind of variables, which is not that easy to uh, come up with, to find the optimum, receive, optimum uh, solution. The point is that we just, uh, we are looking for a sequence which is SM1 through SMN. There is N sample of the received signal. We need to uh, actually uh, just decide what is the SM1 through SMN and 
the observation is Rn, R1, R2 to Rn. Uh, it is simple because just we need to put this sequence inside that. We know what is F. We calculate F of Sm. This Sm is the both faces the vector. And we find which of them is working better, which of them is nearest, nearest sequence. The procedure is seems simple, is like the previous one. On, uh, on the ML maximum likelihood uh, uh, receiver, we also just try the signal, just put the transmitted symbol, the options inside, and see what is the what is the nearest neighbor. But what is the problem here? The procedure seems simple, but the problem is that the candidate for this sequence is too many, too many to search. Okay, for a sequence which length of n and m possible symbol, all possible sequences is m to the power of n. Suppose that you are, your transmitted symbol for the GSM is 158 and m is 2. All possible transmitted symbol is 2 to the power of 158. You cannot just start to searching between all of the possible answer, all of the possible sequences, and say, hey, this, this one is the, the most nearest transmitted symbol to the power of 158. And this is for the, this one. Suppose that for the 8 PSK signaling, m is 8, and for m to the power of 158. It's not possible. OK, then. <clears throat> What is what, what what we can do? Thanks to the Viterbi algorithm, we do not need to search among all the possible candidates. The Viterbi is the name of the scientist, American scientist, one of the one of the builders and the owners of the Qualcomm Technologies. Is I believe uh, seventy nine right now. And uh, he proposed an algorithm in 1967 for decoding of the convolutional coder, which can be used here. You need to know that the Viterbi algorithm is very important for you to understand because for the modulation with memory, you need to know, and also for the decoding of the convolutional coder, which is one of the most important channel coding procedure is using in the Second generation, third generation mobile communication is very important. Implementation is also straightforward, but you just need to do it just once. After that, that's fine. All of them are the same. The only problem I believe is the CPM signal is a little bit tricky. We will go through on that next session. Uh, but uh, we can model this all m to the power of n possible sequences by a forward pass in a trellis diagram like this with the lens n and m states. Here is an example. Suppose that m is 2, n is 3, a simple one. What is the all possible sequences here is 2 to the power of 3, 8. And you have eight possible paths here. For example, one, one, one. But remember, the, just the forward pass. You cannot one, one, minus. If this one is not counting, the, this uh, branches are one way, just the forward. One, 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 minus one, one, minus one, 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 minus one, minus one, and so on. Like this. How about one to the minus one? The diagonal. What do you mean? This one, no, you need to start from here and go to the, you need the tree symbol, the pass with the lens n, all the passes with the lens n. You can check that, that's fine. Okay, then what is the idea? The idea of the, uh, the Viterbi algorithm is very simple. The idea is to deleting a branch with the trellis, within the trellis here, for example, the red one here. 
when you already know there is a branch better than this one, you're looking for the minimum one, minimum pass. When you know that, I'm sure that there is a pass that is better than this one, therefore I'm sure that this one is not in the optimum pass. Then I can delete it. We will go through on how we can decide it in the next slide and the example you will understand it perfectly. But the point is that, you know, when you delete this here, the red one, therefore we have, yeah, you have this one. Then these two from this one will be deleted. You just have this one, this one, this one, this one, yes. You have these two from this, but you're losing these two from this. It means that when you're deleting a branch at S step K, all M to the power of N minus K branches, uh, the paths that are branched from this deleted branch will be deleted. Although M to the power of N minus K, when the K is something like around and it's not a great, but when the k is something like 2, 3, 4, it's a very great, it, it does very great things for us. But here k is uh, greater than 2, 2 or greater than 2, k it cannot be 1 because at this step 1 you, you cannot decide. We will see at the example. Okay, for Implementing the Victoria algorithm, you need to construct the Turles diagram as follows. What you have is a sequence of n received sample. Then the Turles diagram need to has n step. You need to go for n step. Just are you going to make these slides available to us? Yes. Just making sure. Yeah, of course. I just made it last night. I just prepared something to write here and I decided to change it to a slide because yeah. but this is the simple one, the CPM yeah. is much, much more difficult yeah. than this. Um, each step has m to the power of l minus 1 state. All of them is very simple, I mean straight forward, nothing is changing here. L is the lens of the applied filter. It means that the system has L minus 1 memory. Then we need to consider that the number of state is not just the number of transmitted symbol. Mm -hmm. than. More, than More than M to the power L minus 1. When the L is 1, we do not need to do that. M state. Okay, when the L is 2, you have at least M state. We will go through the a uh, very simple example here when, when L is 2, but you need, you need to know that, for example, for the... Actually, uh, the CPM signal is a little bit tricky, a little bit difficult, the, const the construction of the Viter diagram, because you know that for the, the CPM signaling, L is infinity. Because uh, the QT, the Q of T, the, the pulse rating is a continuous and it's go over infinity. But for the system like uh, a filter signal, like before the JK is alpha 1, I, I K plus alpha 2, I, I K minus 1, and so on, it works. Actually, for the convolutional coding, for the decoding of the convolutional coding, it works exactly in this way. But you need to know, understanding the concept of the maximum likelihood sequence detection first, solve an example for yourself, and then come here on Thursday and see how it works for the CPM signal. Okay, each state has M output branches. There is uh, understandable because, you know, uh, we will go here, which uh, each brand indicates an outcome. Okay, you will, you will see and the example that I made it to you, uh, it was uh, the branches between each state. Each of the, these branches indicates an outcoming, an outcome which is the transmission of a symbol. Okay, uh, each state has M input branches, 
but we can accept just one. No matter how many branches is the income of the each state at the Vitar Vidyakram, we can accept just one and the other must be deleted. We will go through the procedure of the deleting of those here also. Each stage at each step has a weight of W with a function of somehow is the index by M. For the simulation, we need to create a matrix of W with M row and K, for example, column. Up, up to you, you can inverse it. M is the index of the state. M is, goes from 1 to uh, M to the power L minus 1. Uh, M to the power, yes. And also the K in index of the step L, K is from 1 to M. And how uh, you find the W, the W is the minimum of D1, D2 until D, M, L minus 1, because there is the number of branches that come, and there is the weights, the cost, the cost that you can reach to the, this step, this state, with these costs. You know that uh, you are coming from, uh, you have M to the L minus 1 state, each state can be connected to each of the states at the uh, in the next step. Therefore, you need to calculate this one, and also there is there is the uh, the formulation for the D one. This is the F. As you see, you have S. This S K is from the previous state. And this is the state that you reach. You need to change this one as changing this. M is 1, M is 2, or M is L minus 1. M to the L minus 1 plus W. Oh. Yes, uh, you will see it's too co it seems too complex, but you will get the point when you see the example. You will have something, such a thing like this, very simple. 2, 4 loop you need for k is equal to 1 to n do for m is 1 to m l minus 1. Example here. You need to calculate each of these. And the first step is very simple because there is no step here, just the absolute value of r minus this one. Change the, uh, I mean, the, this one is the 1, I mean, not the symbol number, the index of time. Just change the s, s1, s2, and so on and calculate the W1 and W2 at the step. Oh, this one is 2 one, sorry. 2 one. I understand. Then you need to calculate this D1 and this one, these two D1s, and just delete one of those. Okay? Each, because you will see why we need to delete and just consider one incoming branch at, the, at each state and go forward. Therefore, we just need here inside the new, I mean calculate the W and the calculation of the W has two steps, calculating the D1 D, and select the winner branch and also save the index of the winner branch. You need to know the winner branch because inside the W you just have a, 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 a real number positive one, which shows the cost of reaching that state at step k. But you need to know the important, what is actually encode your uh, received symbol is this index. You need to know reaching this state was from where? From here or from here? And it, this is for the most simplest case. At the end, when you have, when you complex it, when you completed this index matrix, okay, because you have m to the power l minus one state, each of those state at each step need to have a pass index. Okay, at the final, you're reaching here. That's n. You know what is the number of n. Now we want to decode the sequence. Here, actually, when we're done, you have something like this. 
you know, each of the symbols, uh, sorry, the estate, have just one incoming branches. And you have m to the power l minus 1 states. The only thing that you need to know, need to do is that, okay, find the minimum one. And what exactly mean? It means that it's representing a sequence with the minimum distance, with the minimum weight, with the minimum distance from the received symbol, oh, symbols, or received sample, and received sample, with the sequence of received sample. When you choose the, the minimum one, suppose that the W15 is lower than, or the minimum case here, then you need to go backward using the index matrix. And your optimum sequence here will be S1, S2, S2, S1, S1. OK. This is the performance. Before, uh, let me just show the performance of the system. I want to solve an example here for you in this uh, filtering, but you can see the tremendous actually performance of the maximum likelihood sequence detection. The blue one shows the ML detector for this sequence. Okay, but you can see this even a little bit here better than the this case when there is no memory. And this is a theoretical error for the binary TSK. And this is the uh, maximum mm -hmm. likelihood sequence detection performance. And the SNR N uh, 10, 10 to the minus 20, it goes to 10 to the minus 25. It is 10 to the minus something like 6. This is not working. You cannot use this one for the system with the memory. The only way is maximum likelihood sequence detection. Okay, let me solve an example for you. Suppose system model is such a thing like this. <clears throat> the transmitted symbol, you know what is it at the receiver, you know what is this one, alpha 1 and alpha 2 at the receiver. This is the system model received sample. And uh, suppose you are transmitting this sequence minus one, one, minus one, one, one. And also, suppose you receive symbols are minus one, two, one, two, six, minus one point sixteen, four thirty-nine, minus point one, and finally, uh, the last one, one eight seven four. This is the this is the uh, sequence of received symbol. You can see that the n is five, m is two. Here. You can use the search to the power of five, but at my simulation, this was it goes to something like one million. I decode the sequence with the length of the one million, and the point is that if you say, okay, I decide, I divided this one million to the something that I can search. Actually, suppose that you divide it into the ten. 10 and so on, and divided this 1 million sequence uh, to the 100,000 of this 10, and starting to search. The performance this system would also would be better than the, uh, the maximum likelihood detection, 
but it cleaned, but still degrades the performance and compare with the complete with her being. And you will see that for a, for uh, such an M, some, something I don't know, but you can go on and search for a specific M, the complexity will be the same. And after that, the complexity of this procedure will be greater than uh, the complete Viterbi algorithm, but the Viterbi algorithm still is the optimal one. When you increase this one to the number of N, performance are the same. But the complexity, no. Okay, let me continue. We want to compare uh, the maximum likelihood detection with the maximum likelihood sequence detection. First, we need to go on and calculate what is the maximum likelihood detection procedure. Then, what is the R1 hat? We want to decide what is the R1. The things that we, need, we do is that this is, this is the first R minus, just put in the system on the no IK minus 1 at K is equal to 1. I'm going to decide on this. If this one is greater than this one, then the, uh, the, the received symbol would be minus one. This one is one six two six. This one is zero six two six. Actually, just one distance. Therefore, we can say that the r one is minus one. The distance between this one is more uh, has more resemblance between uh, compared to the, this one with the minus zero one one two six. Good. Where's R two? It will be calculated very simply like this. The second one, you choose this one minus. Go on for the system model. You know what is this? It it was minus one. You change this one first for the one, second time for the minus one. Put something like this. Compare to at both both cases I just consider IK minus one equals to minus one. Because we decided on this. In this case this one is this one is therefore again you can say that okay. The R hat of 2 was uh, minus 1. R hat of 3 is this one minus no, sorry. minus 1 because plus and compared to This one is therefore one. Okay, well. Is it clear? This procedure is very simple because we are going to this is the maximum likelihood sequence detection. See, here we have two errors on detection. 
But it's the R4, and it's this one minus. Okay, and finally, one eight four seven minus again it was minus one. the transmitted symbol, you will see this one, this one, and also this one. No. This one. Yes. Yeah, the, the middle. The middle third. The first, the second, the middle. The R4 hat is wrong. R1 hat is right. Oh, yes, this, this one has R1 hat, yes. The R2 is wrong, R3 is wrong, R4 is wrong too. 3 1 detection by the maximum blockers. Let's start with the maximum blocking sequence detection and see how this works. Okay? K equal to 1, you need to go for this 2. You need to calculate this one and go for K is equal to 2. Here, at the first step, you do not need to calculate any D or something like that because there is the, but here, we need to calculate this too. First, let's go and calculate W1 and 1, which is very simple. What is the received symbol? Minus 1, 2, 6, minus. Oh, just consider this state is for the S1, which is 1. This one is for the state S2, which is minus 1. The point is that, first let me calculate this one and to go through the, this. What exactly this means? This means that this is the COPS. If we decided on S1 is 1, this is the cost if we decided S1 is minus 1. In the first symbol. For the first. Because it's the first, we consider that there is no IK minus 1. It's 0. And the W2 and 1 would be this. This is the cost. <coughs> this one would be 1, 6, 2, 6. W21 will be 0626. 
remember this. Now we want to go and decide what was the S2. Although we are not going to decide, we want to just calculate what is the possible weights. We say that if you go from this state to this state, what is the mean? It means that, just be careful about this point, the IK minus 1 was 1, the IK is 1. If you go from this state to this state, this means that the IK minus 1 was my, uh, 1, but the IK is minus 1. Therefore, I, can, I just can put minus 1 here and 1 here. The incoming symbol is 1. The incoming symbol is minus 1. The incoming symbol is 1. The incoming symbol is minus 1. The IK minus 1 was minus 1. The IK, mi IK is minus 1 too. Okay? We need just to do this. The other things that we, can, we need to calculate is... We need to go for, for example, D1 here, D2 here, because we need to know what is the cost of this, what is the cost of this, or maybe what is the cost of coming from here to here, cost of from here to here, and also D1 and D2, cost from here to here, and cost from here to here, okay? Let me write down those here, D1, D2, and D1, D2. Okay. What is the D1 here? It is R2. One point one sixty minus and one, we come from here, we want to go to here. Then, minus or one? Minus or plus? Which one? Plus. We want to go to here. Plus. This one is plus. This is the D1. Okay, you tell me the others. Come on, guys. D2, this one. Minus 1.160 minus 0 0.5 times negative 1. Perfect. Plus 1. Plus 1, yeah. This one, we only got come. Uh, we came from here and go to here, it's again. Uh, times negative. No, times 1. Yep. Yeah. Uh, minus 1. Minus 1, perfect. The D2 comes from a minus 1, goes to minus 1. Then you just need to calculate those. Okay. Uh, D1 is... Oh, we just <coughs> do something. Not just this. And the point is here. Sorry. The point is here. It came from this one to this one. But you need to, okay, the source was this one. What was the rate of the source? You need to go. This two comes from here. Again, one and one. The cost. And the point is this cost. Okay? We're considering this cost is very important for us. <clears throat> now, what is this D1? It is 4.287. If I'm right, D2 <coughs> is 1287. D1. This one is 3.287, and the last one, which is D2, is 
six, six. Just can't calculate this one. This one is minus minus is greater, but this is minus, this is a plus, a part of a plus here. And also this one is a better instance. Therefore, what we what we do is that we are selecting the blue one. This one, and for the red one, this one. Okay. Therefore, what we need to do here is this deleting part. I'm deleting this, uh -huh. and also deleting D1 too. And the last thing that I need here, we have the diagram, we know what is the index. In your simulation, you need to save the index for yourself. Put the weight. Okay, what is the weight for this one? We call it W1, 2. We calculate it. It is 1.2. 1.287 and this one was W22 which is 0.966 all right now go for k is equal to 2 3 sorry okay let's change the state here Again, this one, this one, this one, this one. Same, D1, T2, D1, D2. Okay? Therefore, I just need to calculate, oh my god. <sighs> One is D1, D2, D1, D2. You use the space for this one here. Okay. Right. D1. Come on, guys, help me. What is the D1? D1 will be. What is the R3? Yes, this one, perfect. 0 0.39 minus. Same thing, like this. Times one. One. Uh, plus, plus one. Plus, plus one. Plus the weight. W. Which one? Uh, one two. One two. Perfect. Again. Times. Uh, D two. Negative one. No. Right. Around. Yeah, times like minus one. Yeah, negative one plus one. one. Plus one. One. No. 0.5 times negative one. No. Yeah. This is state. This is state for S1. Times one minus negative one. Yeah. If it's not this, it is that. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you are at the one. minus one. It can one came to go to this state. Plus W W two two. This one is let me see W one come from one. Oh my gosh. No. Negative one. <coughs> it was one, not negative one. Minus one. I forget to. Okay. Again. Half a uh, negative one plus one. No. Yeah. No. D two. D two should be zero point four three nine minus zero point five times negative one yes, plus one. Yes. Let's make D one. D two. Times negative one. Minus one. Yes. No. That was correct. That was correct because this one well, is ik. Ik is this one. This one it's not. This one is negative one plus one. Plus one. Okay. 
because d1 is this one, okay? This is the i case. Yeah, but no, that uh, so half times i k, both d1 and d2 are the blue d1 and both the i. This is the i k is and it's one in both case. Yes. Oh yeah, okay. This is the i minus k. Okay. Then did we have the last one now? The last one? This one? Oh. Oh. This friend is okay. tricky. Uh, it comes from this one to this one comes minus one comes minus one minus one minus one. This one was right. This one. Yeah. And this one. Yes. This one is not. This is. You see. I was just. Uh, yeah. Minus one plus. Yeah. And this one is not also correct. Yeah. Because it comes from d two. Comes with one. But it's come from minus one. Sorry, guys. Just correct it. Yeah. We can try again. D1, D1, D2, D1, D2. This D1 comes from this. This D2 come from this. But both of them indicate incoming of 1. 1 minus one. Sorry. Again. Let's go plus W1 and 1, am I right? Well, 1, 2. Yes. Oh, sorry. 1, 2. And this one is 4, 3, 9 minus times minus 1, minus 1. Plus W2, 2. Finally, what we have here is for this one exactly correct this is two three four eight this one d2 is zero d1 minus one plus one is one three four eight and the last one is two point nine zero five again we choose this one Choose this one. And the best, my favorite part, the beating. This one and also D2. Uh -huh. Now let me <coughs> go for the K is equal to 4. K is equal to 4. D1, D2, D1, D2, 1 comes, 1 comes, minus 1, minus 1. Let me calculate it over here. We have known that the seeds, it was 3 symbol error for this. For D1 red, 1 come red. For D1 red. D1 red. Oh, those, those are red. What is this in, index I give on the arrows? Like, it means like the coming, right? No, not this one. No, I'm just making No, no, what is this? 1 and minus 1 on it, right? This one is some yeah. minus one. This is the, the, the symbols that is coming. So for the D1 red should be one. No, for the D1, you are going to this state. This state for, is for minus one. This state is minus one. Mm -hmm. Then you are here, minus one comes, you are going to this state. If one comes, you go to here. You are here, when one comes, you need to go for here. Because this state, this state, this state, and this state, means 1, and this 4 means minus 1. Okay, let me erase it. It's fine. Calculation, again, D1 and D2. Let's 
can do it here. D1, D2, D1, D2. Oh, usually first loop. What is the D1? This minus 9, 5 plus my sorry, minus half of 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus w of 1 3 let me just write here in four brackets to write 1 3 is 1.9 and w 2 3 is 1 3 4 8 W13, this is right. Uh, it was minus one, that's fine. In this one, Symbol or sample, you can say minus always times one plus one plus w one four. You do not write the w one four. W one four is
Finally. D1, where are you? 1999. D2. 4947, D3, the other ones, where are you? Oh, the point is, D1 and D2, W, One, one point, this is the minus plus one, W one four. Just we need to calculate this one. We do not calculate to this one. You know what? Why? We do not need to calculate D2. Because this one, W two four, and this two six, we come up with this. This is the winner here. One point nine nine. Okay? D1, right? Yes. This one is 1, 6, 5, 3. And this one, this is the minus. It's 3.02. And this one is 8. And uh, what is this? This is. The whole D1, right? Is 3.028. 3.026. That's, that's correct. Okay? And also this one, we do not need to go over to calculate actually the last one here, but you can see that this one and this one is the less than this one. It means that the W15 is the winner. And also, you, you know that the D1 is winner. You delete the D2, and the other do not care what was the W1 and what was the winner of D1 and D2 here because we know that the W1 is less than both of them therefore we just need to go back let's have one branch in the last oh, for all of them you need to one incoming branch we will mm, M to the L minus 1 state here but you need to calculate the lower one the winner is this one and somehow we need to go back and you tell me what is the symmetry? Why did you delete the D1 right? Excuse me? It was 3 less than the D2 right. This one? Right. No, no, no. no. D1 right. D1 right. It was 3. Okay. It should be in the diagram. No, the point is that this one is greater than this one. For all of them, we choose two. But okay, the point is that this is the last. For the so last, we choose just one. Because for the last, we need the winner state. Even if, you suppose that you have something like this. Okay? So we get two paths. Okay, you have two paths. But this one has the less uh, weight. This is the winner. This one is the wrong one. This is the winner. We need to go from here to here and here. And again, what is the S hat? S minus one. 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 Minus one. Minus one. One. Minus one. One. Minus one. One. Minus one. One. And this is how it works. Good. Uh, 10 to the minus 20. I, I showed you that the SNR 10 is 10 to the minus 20 is better than the maximum maximum. And the point is, you will need that the applications 
it's not just for the system with the memory. You will see at the chapter 9 that maximum likelihood sequence estimation equalizers are the optimal equalizer. For the GSM and Edge, we are using this. Because the channel is also, the wireless channel is also a, a, as a kind of a filter. It works as a filter. It gives you a memory. We need to estimate the taps of the channel as like here, alpha 1, alpha 2, and go on for this. I even discussed, you know, yesterday I was uh, looking for the standard IEEE 8.2. Fifteen, fifteen point six, which is the standard that they established for the body area wireless network, and surprisingly, one of the modulation was the GM escape. They're using the GM escape, which the system with member. Even if you do not consider the wireless channel, you need to go for the maximum likelihood sequence estimation for the. Uh, even at the end of the gene chart. I know that it is a little, not little, but you need to go for, first of all, do this. First of all, let me just erase this one and give you an example. Try to uh, solve this as example for yourself at home. I uploaded the homework number three, but there is no question on this. But believe me, you will have one question at the exam. No. For we turn? Yes, four states, whatever. Uh, no, it doesn't take. I will no. give you enough time. You need to know this concept because if you do not know, you know, believe me, the CPM is much, 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 much more difficult than this one. Because the CPM is, the, the, the memory is infinite, and somehow we need to handle that. Okay? But. Go for for this one. Suppose that your AK is minus 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, and minus 1, and R is 1, 5, 4, 2, 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the last one, minus 3, 1, 2. Okay? And here's the V3B diagram, it's for yourself. Home. Do it, please, and see how it's working. Try, after that, try to simulate for yourself. Try to write the maximum likelihood uh, sequence detection or estimation. It's fun. Uh, for your consideration, for those of you that have the optimization course, this field is somehow a dynamic. So this, uh, just a quick question. Dynamic programming in the field of optimization. Yeah. Is this um, RK is equal to? Is the same? Like um, no, R is this one. I, I know, I know, I know. Not not the actual same received signal, but it's. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The system model, yes. Consider this because I generate with the same MATLAB code. The RK was this. One. Yeah. Sorry, I need to mention that too. Um, there was yes. This is the dynamic programming. The dynamic programming procedure is something like this, but the point is that uh, it can be used optimally for such uh, optimization problem that the the variables are the con it's not the continuous time there is just discrete time there can be modeled by the states, but it's very powerful for those. And also, I mentioned that for the channel coding procedure, you can use the literary diagram, and uh, and that's it. Two, four, six, seven. Two student of absent. Oh God. Uh, this. Wow. So therefore, then talk to your 
friends. They cannot go on an understanding with them. So maybe there are there are no what is the Vita Vidya combat? Believe me, you cannot even now if you go for yourself and try to understand what is the concept of the CPM receiver, you cannot understand it by yourself. So this is just for very simple motivation. But how about like GMSK? Ah, GMSK I told you. Next time. Ah, next time. CPM. But the point is, be careful, be hold about, yes, this is, what, for example, if it was the QPSK, let me, we have five minutes. Uh, what was, for example, L was three, here L is two. L is three, M, the maximum number, the state, it is something like this. You have four states. Each state represents two symbols. Okay. And we are doing this. For example, you, you are this one is one 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 minus one. Oh, yes, minus one one minus one minus one. <coughs> when one comes, you can go to one and one. It is very important, guys. When minus one comes, okay, which state you go? Root 12. This one. You cannot go to this one. This is minus one, one. This is the upcoming state. Okay? Next one. When the minus one comes, which state is go? This one. You are here, one comes. Yes. S1, tell me the number. Which state I go? One comes. I am at S2. One comes. It it changes. One goes. minus one goes to minus one one. Which one is the oh, minus S3. one one? S3. Not that simple, yeah? <laughs> okay, minus one comes. S4. S4. One comes. S1. S1. Minus one comes. S two. Yes. Perfect. And this one? S three. And S four. Each oh. state M inputs. For example, one minus one. Again, you need to delete each of them. Just one. And go and go. And the most drawback, the most drawback of the Viterbi algorithm is the complexity. Suppose, for example, this is the, this scheme is not being is using for the complete Viterbi. I'll explain to you at the GSM system. Considering L is seven tab, which makes sense, it works. The program that we was writing is working over there something like twenty mile wireless channel. It works with L seven. M is two. Watch out. It's to the power of six. It's uh, somehow it's six. Six. Okay? But here, suppose that the point is when m increases, m is eight. In PSK signaling, what is this number? Eight to six. Even for the eight PSK signaling, well, I will discuss chapter nine. DDFS is delay, delayed decision feedback sequence estimation. Even for the, this kind of signaling with N is 8, it's not that easy to implement. Nobody implement that. They change the VTM with the icon. As, as long as the number of... And this is the reason that the people go over to the, the OFTM signaling, but recently they just come back. Okay. Let's uh, uh, use the equalization step in the five generation of mobile communication. Um, from S2, when one and minus one, <coughs> then one comes, how, how do you went to S3? Can okay, you, you see, this is IK, IK minus one. Okay, when I want this one K, this one will be IK minus one. 
because the, the newer one is this. You shift it this way. This goes here, the other one comes, one one. Okay? Oh, sorry. Oh, that was the. I got that. Okay? It comes here, this one is going to come here, one goes and it goes to this. Uh, this one is a little tricky. I didn't want to mention, but that is what it is. This talk communication, guys. 